Hey everyone, welcome to my November, <laughs> oh man, very late November, early December monthly opinions on the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book and franchise. And, <laughs> you know folks, I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you folks, I'll tell you, you know, um, talk about kind of a night and day deal. You know, as I said in my review, a lot of people, even myself, are starting to like what Aaliyah's doing with the hidden cost story compared to what her husband Ian Flynn's doing. You know, not saying Ian Flynn isn't doing a good job, he's doing a decent job, but you know, he is kind of making us ponder about these three freedom fighters that came out of nowhere, so... You know, exactly, you know, what their motives are, who they are, da da da, I do not know. Um... So, anyway, uh, long story short, or it's... You know, we just gotta wait till next month to see what happens. But like I said, I think some people have their opinions on it. Um, but overall, looking at this next month coming up and then going into the new year, I know one of the, I know a lot of people are frustrated so far. I even mentioned this in an audio video. A lot of people are frustrated with, well, not frustrated, but they're kind of getting impatient with this whole Shadow World Sonic Unleashed uh, uh, adaption. And all I have to say about that is, like I've said before, and I'll say it again, I think, hopefully, if there's no interruptions, uh, Ian Flynn's got a goal for issue 300 to be the ending of this adaption. Because from what he has said in one of his Bumblecast uh, uh, videos that he's done, he has said that his plan after this uh, Shattered World deal is done is to focus a lot more on all the characters, not just Sonic, Tails, and Amy, and all that, but to focus on Sally, Bunny, Antoine, Rotor, you name it. Kind of get more in depth to who they are. Which is why, as I've said before, I honestly think that the next Sonic Universe is coming out in the next year or so, as well as beyond, depending on how long that comic might run, uh, and it looks like it's going to run for quite some time because it's a great kind of add-on extension of the main comic. Um, I feel like in the next year or so we're going to get some Sonic Universe stories focusing on Sally. We're going to get some focusing on Bunny, on Antoine, on Rotor. We're going to get some, uh, you know, we'll occasionally get the Knuckles and Shadow ones and the Blaze ones and Silvers. That's, <coughs> you know... You know, that's, that's just a, you know, that's just a plain fact, you know, so, you know, so Sega wants those characters to be pushed. Um, and I'm sure we're going to get a Sonic Universe one on Amy Rose and such, so we're going to get some very intriguing ones down the line. But my honest opinion, you know, looking at hidden costs like we have, you know, looking at hidden costs like, like we have, and how I said in my review, and I think a lot of people will agree, we're getting this rivalry, we're getting this kind of like respectable rivalry being built between Sally Bunny and Clove and Cassidy. Um, I, I definitely see, I, I definitely see maybe a Sonic Universe story being developed focusing on Cl Cassidy and Clove. I, I do see that. I can see that happening now. I just don't know when or where. But, like I said, you know, in my opinion, 2016, we're going to see a lot of the Sonic Universe focusing on other characters. I, I really do. Down the line, that's just my opinion. And, again, you know, this definitely sets up, depending on how you feel about Ian or Leah, sets up a lot for the future issues. As far as the first, you know, couple of stories in 2016, um, I, I definitely see a lot being done here. I, I definitely see it. You know, I definitely see a, a lot being done. 
uh, I see a lot being done uh, with those stories. You know, we're getting a You know, we're getting Dulcie coming back in another, in you know, in the next two months. So that's pretty good. We, and she's got a redesign, very Chinese-inspired redesign uh, with the closing and all that. And it looks like she's going to be about the same size, almost maybe a little taller because she's a dragon, but about the same size, a little taller than than Sonic. So that ought to be really interesting to see. Um, so we're getting some stories there. We're getting some backup stories with with Bunny and Tails. Uh, working together, we're getting stuff like that. So it's going to be really, really interesting what happens. Of course, we're going to start off with an Eggman uh, universe arc um, that starts the year out, the, where he's fighting the you know the Nagus siblings or twins, whatever you want to call them, Axis and Windy. So uh, that's going to be really interesting. And I won't be surprised either if it's acknowledged in that universe arc the Eggman arc in universe next next year. I won't be surprised if maybe Nargis kind of acknowledges that he knows through the powers that he and Wendy have and the connections that they have with these chaos shards and everything that they know what happened. They know what Eggman did and this is why the planet's in this condition. So I I think it's going to be something interesting interesting to to see. As far as the main comic goes, of course, like I said, we got. Uh, a two-part, maybe three-part story going on with, with Sonic and Dulcie and, you know, and all them. Uh, because apparently in the second issue of the year, we're getting a dark, a phoenix, a mystical phoenix character that's going to get possessed by the Dark Gaia uh, energies. So that might be really interesting to see how that turns out. But again, I truly believe that we're on the road, we're on the march to 300, which in my opinion, it's my monthly opinions of course, <laughs> is going to be the end of the story arc. And again, as, I, as I've said before, in everything, I know, as I said before, I know a lot of people are becoming impatient with it, and I, and I honestly don't blame them. You know, this has been going on essentially since 252, and now we are basically over two years later. You know, we're two years and two months later, if you will, because, you know, it's been 26 issues. And you know, a lot of people are questioning and wondering when is it going to end, and I truly believe it's got to be, I, I truly believe, folks, it's going to be in 22 issues. I really do. I truly believe that from this month, 22 months from now, is when it's going to end. I really do. So, I, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. I mean, I could be wrong that it ends in September of 2017, uh, but... I think that's where Ian, if things don't interrupt him as they have, I mean, you take, I mean, you, you know, and I'll get into this in a second, you take a look at what he said, um, you know, in Lost Hitchhawk Tales Chapter 1, and you kind of get the idea that anything he had originally planned got put aside or shelved or condensed because Sega or Archie or whoever said, hey, we got to do this and it's got to be done now. So... Hopefully he doesn't deal with that and he can get this done as quickly as possible. But I know the one thing a lot of people fear is the fact that we're going to get another crossover. And that might be the case. Whether that happens next year or in 2017, I know a lot of people are worried we're going to get another crossover. But how that's going to work, how it's going to happen, I do not know. Uh, but if that happens, that's the thing, if it happens, because I know, again, there's a lot of people that worry about that. Uh, but overall, like I said, I, I honestly think we're on the road, and if there's no interruptions, Ian, Aaliyah, Tracy, and whoever else writes stories, Ivan, if you will, I think we're all going to, you know, get, you know, finally, you know, get there, get to 300 quicker and uninterrupted you know, faster than I think we can expect. I mean, 22 months are going to fly by, uh, essentially going to fly by, folks. I mean, you take a look around, um, if you will, you can't see it here, but it's already Christmas time. So, if we're already at Christmas 2015, before you know it, it'll be Christmas 2016, 
And then before you know it, we're heading into that time frame where this whole story arc may end. Now, will it end next month or next year? It might. We can't really say. Will it end in, two, you know, in 2017? I would assume it would. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it would make sense for it to end next year because that is the 25th anniversary of the franchise overall. And yeah, we might get something to celebrate that too. So, you know, that might be great. But when you think about it, if it ends in 2000. Uh, 16, you know it's going to end in September of that month, of that year, I should say. It's going to end then. So it'll essentially be 10 months from now, or 11 issues uh, from this very issue uh, that we got. It's going to be 11 to 10 months, 10 issues from now, basically 11 to 10 months from now, it's going to happen. If he goes in that direction, if he decides for the 25th anniversary he wants to finish it up condense it, end it, and then start from there, start fresh from there. Uh, who's to say? But to me, honestly, I think if it doesn't end in 2016 with the 25th anniversary, I think it's going to end in, with, issue, with the 300th issue anniversary, with the 300th anniversary issue of the comic. I, I really think so. So... But th that's just what I feel. Those are just my opinions for what's going to happen in, with, the, with the comic. And like I said, with Universe, I, I feel that within the next year or so, we, you know, we're going to get issues, story arcs, where based, centered around Sally. We're going to get one centered around Bunny, Antoine, Antoine and Bunny. We're going to get one centered around maybe Cassidy and Chloe. That would be interesting. Um, Rhoda will probably get one. Tails, no doubt. And of course... Amy, I believe, is going to get one. Knuckles and Silver. I think a lot of them are going to get one. Sometimes paired together and sometimes individually focused on them with a supporting cast. But we'll just have to wait and see. And I do believe Nicole might get another one as well. So that's just my opinion on what I feel is going to happen uh, with, with Universe. You know, that's what I just feel is going to happen with, with Universe. Um... You know, as far as, uh, like, like I said, that's what I feel is going to happen with Universe, so that's just my opinion on that. Uh, as far as, you know, like I said, with Lost Hedgehog Tales, I I've read it, I've talked about it, and to me, like I said, what Ian's mentioned in there, obviously, if there was no interruptions, no mandates, stuff like that, then right now we'd be talking about... Uh, we'd be talking about the whole um, Mecha Sally or post Mecha Sally arc going into basically the 300 road to either restoring her back to normal or finally just destroying the Death Egg or something, I don't know. But The Lost Hitchhog Tales, the first chapter that's come out uh, last month or so, I think, uh, like I said before, I thought it was really interesting, nice introduction. Uh, the second one's coming, but from what I understand, Ian Flynn has a draft of it up, but he's got to fix it. And his goal is to at least get it out before Christmas. So that would be a nice early Christmas gift for any of us to see that second chapter. Because I think as he gets to that second chapter, we're getting into the meat, if you will, of, the, uh, of what would have been. You know, and honestly, my opinion, you know, when I heard, out, heard that, you know, the Olympics issue that came out that interrupted everything, if you will, when it came out that... Basically, that was because of what McDonald's was doing with Monopoly and stuff like that. Yeah, that kind of was stupid, if you will. It's like, why would you want to give away a comic like that? I mean, I get, you know, you added an additional story to the main storyline at the time to get people's interest. But still, it's like, really? You know, it doesn't make any sense. So, um, hopefully, things like that uh, won't happen again as we get to 300 or get towards the end of this arc. Um, you know, and of course, you know, I've talked about Ken Penders and the whole thing with Ken Penders. Apparently, uh, there's something going on. Obviously, it's not going to affect the comic that much, but it's more like, hey, you didn't pay. I think it's more along the lines, in my opinion, of it's backup issues that they're posting digitally online, and he hasn't gotten no. It's some kind of miscommunication between Archie and Comicology and their digital apps. For the digital in their apps of the 
that distribute the digital issues of the comics that are hurting, that are basically one of the reasons Ken Penders and several others possibly are going after both of them. So it has nothing really to do with the comic. I think it's more like, hey, you didn't pay us for what you're digitally reprinting. You know, in di you know, you're, you're, oh, actually you're digitally reprinting in digital form. So, really, really interesting. It's really interesting to see how that turns out. Maybe, hopefully, just pray and hope, just pray that nothing really bad comes out of it. I don't think it will. So I think it's just like, hey, you got to pay us this, and that'll probably be about it. Um, going on to the the cartoon, the Sonic Boom cartoon. Um, obviously, it's got a second season coming. I still believe if they stick with the if they're going to stick with this Looney Tunes kind of. 11 minute short real short cartoons com you know compressed to you know basically the two 11 minute short cartoons compressed into one episode I still believe in a sense they might use the lustful male gag which is basically in case you guys don't know you could look this up in TV tropes the lustful male gag is just basically the as they look at it the female and at times male equivalent you know a, a female and male equivalent of kind of being a little aroused, if you will, aroused, attracted, very much attractive, uh, to the point that you just melt into a puddle of goo. So I still believe that Sonic Boom is going to probably do that maybe in the second season. Uh, I do believe they're going to see more of Percy in the second season. She's going to have more of a role in that season. I, I think Zoe's going to show back up again, have more of a role as well. I mean, you don't just bring in Percy from the games. Or introduce this new character in Zoe as well and make them one off deals or something. So I see Zoe coming back and having a few more episodes f featuring her, and I do see Percy, like I say, being more, having more of an on screen role and maybe even being part of the group in a sense because you got to have that connection. Uh, you know, Shadow and Metal obviously are being brought in, so I definitely still see them having more of a role uh, uh, down the line. Uh, I definitely see if they can get this done. I see Root showing up if that happens, and I probably see Blaze showing up as well. So Blaze might be making her first official t television debut after I don't know how long, about a decade or so. So we'll finally see her in anime, official animated form in a television series, maybe in the second season. That's just my opinion of what I could possibly see with Sonic Boom. I also see maybe that they might focus. They, I, I look at the second season. And I look at it more as a, as a season that's going to be a mixture of, it's still going to maintain those 11 minute shorts, if you will, comprised, you know, comprised together into one episode, two 11 minute shorts comprised into one episode. But I also see them maybe mixing it up and giving us full length, 22 minute, 30 minute episodes as well. So I see that, I see that in the works as well. And again, that's just my opinion. But I think they're going to mix it up to where you're going to have the standard uh, two 11 minute short uh, episodes, but you're also going to have full length 22 to 30 minute long episodes as well. Maybe even broke it up into um, parts, if you will, if they want to do maybe a two part or three part mini series or something like that. But I do see them going in that direction, and I do see maybe a direct to video, a direct to Blu ray DVD Sonic Boom movie happening as well to help promote the series and maybe even uh, the Boom portion of the Sonic franchise. So, but that's just me, and speaking of Sonic Boom, this is still being published as a comic series, not as a book, but as a comic series, it, you can see in uh, the Super Special Magazines, I think if they're still around, and I, if they're still around, as well as in the, you know, the Digest, of course, which obviously are out there, I should know, we sell them at my job, so, you know, they're still there, so you'll be, like, well, those, yeah, they're still there, so you'll be able to still see them there uh, as well. Um, overall, I think Sonic Boom, whether you like it or not, you're a fan of it or not, uh, I think the cartoon series is really going to take off more so in the second season, hopefully, in my opinion. And again, I definitely see a mixture of the standard two 11-minute short episodes, and a mi along with a mixture of maybe full-length 22 to 30-minute episodes, maybe even comprised into maybe two to two to three to four part miniseries 